Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm doing a second part to my useful tips video. For this one, it's just going to be some useful tips that I actually find useful and I use quite often, or just some general good information. The last time I, I just chose a bunch of tips people gave me, which I'd probably do again, but they're not in any order, just some random information. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's start with number one. Now, you might be asking yourself, Raven, what's that fancy end game setup you got going on there? I've never seen something so awesome. <laughs> well, let me tell you. If you have a spider nest and a bird cage, you will have unlimited eggs. And how that works is, every time you kill spiders and you get their monster meat, you just cook it and give it to the bird. And then he'll give you an egg. And generally, you wouldn't want the nest right on top of your base like this. This is for educational purposes to show you. You could definitely kill a tier 3 hive and transport it close to your base if your base isn't near any. Just keep that in mind. But now with all these eggs, you will never have spoiled food again. You could just have an endless recycle of eggs. So when you were out on that long journey, exploring caves and such, you come back to find out my eggs have spoiled. From there, all you gotta do is cook them up over the fire, then you have a cooked egg. From there, it won't be spoiled anymore, but if you don't plan on using them right now, you could just give the cooked eggs to the bird for a fresh new one. So basically, eggs are just unspirable. It's just an endless recycle you could do, so you would always have good eggs. And then you could go on and make bacon and eggs, or whatever you want. Okay. Another useful thing I like to do really early when I first start a world is go down to the caves and collect as many light bulbs as I can. Because I know once I dig up all them berry trees and bring them to my base, I'm going to need some poo. But instead of having to go look for some beef flow to collect some poo, because why, why do you want to get your hands all nasty? Get them poo hands! When you could just collect all them light bulbs and just drop them at your base. And hey, look, they even give you some light. And then after six days, you have a ton of rot. So now look, you have them berry bushes looking good as new. And I like to do this early, so that way by the time I do find a base, I'll have the rot. If you go and get a ton of light bulbs when you already have a base built, you could easily just find a pig, feed him some monster meat, turn him into a werewolf pig, like we talked about in the last useful tips video. But instead, you could just give him all the light bulbs. you eat those and you get poo. And also, I guess if you're a farms person, you could uh, use the poo for that instead of the rot. But hey. I generally use this rot for my berry bushes. So this way it would work great getting rot right away. Or if you needed poo over rot, then this would be the way to go about that. And for this next one. So if you ever really wanted meat when you caught birds and you didn't want feathers, you don't have to murder the bird. Because if you murder the bird, you, get, you got a 50% chance to get meat and a 50% chance to get a feather. So what you want to do if you just want the meat, you don't care about them feathers, it's just cook them on the fire. If you hold the bird over the fire, it gives you the cook option. And then you get a cooked mersel. And then you can use this in your bacon and eggs recipe. Now for this tip, I want to show you how you can catch the boomerang every time. I never personally craft it, but I do come across it every now and then. And maybe people don't pick it up because they're like, I don't want to look like a scrub. You get smacked in the face by it. And then you look like a pansy in front of your friends. So here's how you catch it every time. So once you throw it, as soon as it hits its target, just click the space bar. And then you hold your hand out until it comes back and you catch it. You could hold the space bar in. It really doesn't matter. That could goof it up maybe. But all you gotta do is click in the space bar and then you have your hand held out for it and then you catch it every time now for this last one it's something people have told me a million times and personally i don't it's not too handy for me because i play wig for it a lot for every other character in the game it is a really good tip is butterflies all you gotta do to eat butterfly wings because they restore eight health they're super easy to get all you gotta do is go slap go slap butterfly dead and call it a day so if you're ever low on health and you're not wig for it this is an easy way to restore your health without having to craft anything. Well, that's all the tips I got for today. I hope some of these are useful for you. I hope you found at least one of these useful. Maybe even you learned something new today. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time.